girls with small boobs always say, oh my gosh, I wish I had bigger boobs. Why can I get boobs? Why can't I have bigger boobs? Can I have some boobs? Share your boobs with me. Shut up. <laughs> Woo, shame. I think I'm funny, hey? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. Please do share the video with as many people as possible. So today we're gonna be talking about big boobs and why I feel like having big boobs is so overrated okay girls with small boobs always say oh my gosh i wish i had bigger boobs why can i get boobs why can i have bigger boobs can i have some boob share your boobs with me shut up wow guys having big boobs is so overrated and trust me itty bitty titty committee girls if you had big boobs you would understand that it ain't all it's cracked up to be now guys every body is beautiful you have to love your body no body shaming and this is not to body shame this is just to bring attention to the other side of having boobs and this is actually to just encourage people with even small boobs to start appreciating their bodies but the reason why having big boobs is not nice is number one it's hard to find a bra. Bra shops only make bras for itty, bitty, titty committee. Y'all be complaining that you want big boobs. But do you know that all the bras come for you and your non-existent boobs? They are there for you, okay? It's hard to find a bra when you have big boobs. In fact, guys, if your boobs are big enough, hey, they'll start telling you that you can't wear normal, nice, sexy lace bras. No, you have to start wearing the minimizers, the granny ones, guys, the granny ones, because there's no stars for you. If I can tell you the number of times shop assistants said to me that you have to wear the minimizers, you have to wear the minimizers, and I was just like, get thee behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me. There's this misperception that DD, double Ds are bigger than that. That's a joke. Have you ever have you ever been to G, F, E, those sizes, guys? Then you will know what big boobs are. Like honestly, bra shopping is such a nightmare because it's hard to find bras your size. Um, and like sometimes you buy a bra that's your size, then you get home and your boobs do this thing where they fall out of the cup. Literally, my cup run it over. Like just your cup just run it over so it's really hard to find bras and also bras are super expensive yo 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 guys it's a money it's a money you know if I, <laughs> I would appreciate having small boobs because then I, you know some girls don't have to wear bras because then I don't have to wear bras I don't have to spend money on bras I can just chill every day is free the nipple day every day is free that you know what I'm saying bras are expensive and as someone with big boobs you have to keep buying bras um because your boobs just the, the size just you know it's so complicated and also wires of bras come out and once a wire comes out first of all it pokes you to death okay and then when it does come out the bra's finished. You have no more bra. You have no support, okay? You have to buy another one of which bras are expensive. Second of all, you can't go anywhere without a bra. You can't do anything without a bra, guys. You can't go braless. Girls without boobs, they can, you know, they can wear those nice strapless things, those nice, you know what I mean? Because uh, even those ones that open here in the middle, because your things stand and they just where they need to be. And don't let social media fool you, guys. It, it, boobs don't always, are not always perky and up there and whatever some of them fall some of them are middle some of them are up and it's normal it's fine if you have big boobs most likely you can't go anywhere without a bra and have you tried running yo have you tried running without a bra on when you have big boobs you can't and some sports bras don't even provide the support you need get it you'll be wearing the bra but left right left right left right the whole time you know how hard it is to to freaking be in sports and whatever when you got big boobs you know you know ha huh? it's hard okay having big boobs can actually cause back pains it can actually physically harm you there are women who actually get their breasts reduced because it causes back pains another thing about having big boobs is guys you always have that one guy or not even that one guy guys in jail 
who feel the need, who think it's okay to harass you purely because of what your body looks like, purely because you have boobs. The thing about having big boobs is you don't need to have your cleavage out for them to show. You can be wearing a shirt up to your okay up to your apollo neck up to your but because your boobs are big they are defined in t-shirts you can see them in t-shirts the, like they're big you know they're, they're pretty hard to miss and one guy one dumb couple come to you and say y'all bro y'all hey look at those milk jugs your babes are so big hi wow wow can't imagine how much milk is in there hi first of all dumbass you're so dumb you are really dumb for real there's no milk in here because i'm not a mother i don't have children i'm not i cannot i'm not breastfeeding okay second of all thank you captain obvious for mentioning the fact that my boobs are big i i really i hadn't noticed i wow oh my god wow oh my god big my yeah big this whole time chief i know like, it's not a compliment for you to tell me that I have big boobs. And that's another thing. Some men feel like they are complimenting you by coming to you and telling you that, you know, that's what they call it. Oh, baby girl, you're a Oh, you know, it's not a compliment to tell me that I've got big boobs because you're objectifying me, okay? You're, like, what? You couldn't tell me that I've got a pretty face or a smile or I'm pretty intelligent or that my videos are great. I hope you've subscribed. You choose to come and objectify me. I'm not, I am not boobs. I'm a human being. I'm a spirit. I'm a soul. I'm God's number one child. Okay. So the attention from men is not as sweet as you think it is, unless you want it. Like you can imagine men are harassing you when your t-shirt is up to your, can you imagine when you actually have some cleavage showing? Not to mention it's easier for you to show cleavage. You don't have to be trying. You don't have to, but it's just there. Why? Because your boobs are there. They are big. They are there. So guys, to the guys out there who think it's cute to go up to girls and be like, Ooh, it's the real cool. Oh, your boobs are uh, you're so big. Huh? So nice, huh? I wonder how much milk is in there. Shove it. We don't want to hear it. We don't need to hear it. And I, for one, am a woman of respect, okay? I respect myself and I will not tolerate being disrespected by whether I know you or not. I won't tolerate being disrespected by any man, okay? Respect starts from within, self-respect. And if I am self-respecting, you have no right to disrespect me at all and I won't allow it. So to anyone who is considering coming to me and telling me, yeah, babes are so big, how much milk do you have in there? I will block you with a quickness and if you do it to my face i will hit you most likely so bri <laughs> don't something else that's bad about having boobs is you can't find clothes all the time like sometimes especially in a dress right like it fits me everywhere like you know what i mean i can get in very nicely my hips don't lie they look great and everything figure is popping but then you get to the boobs and it, 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 it won't zip. Why? They are too big. Now you have to forfeit a dress simply because your boobs are too big. Some of them, you can't wear a bra with it because, like, I know some dresses, once you put a bra on, it's game over. There's no zipping the dress. Now you lose out on a dress just because you've got boobs. Guys, it's hard to find clothes when you've got big boobs. Trust me. Like, itty bitty titty committee, you have all the nice bras and the nice clothes, so I don't know why you guys are complaining. Before I end this video, of course you know that today is the day that I am announcing the winners of my giveaway. For those who don't know, I've been hosting a giveaway on my channel for the last two weeks and I am giving away two $25 Amazon gift cards. And no, this video is absolutely not sponsored by Amazon. Although Amazon, if you'd like to sponsor me, I just wanna let you know that you are more than welcome to. Like, I welcome your sponsorship. Just saying. Anyway, so every single person who is eligible to win who actually took part in the giveaway to completion has been listed on a list and I have allocated a random number to them. How am I going to determine then from that list who wins? I've got a random number generated open right here and that is how we're going to know who wins the giveaway. So I'm about to draw the first number. Start praying, start doing whatever you do. Maybe it's going to be you. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, the first person to win the giveaway is, hold on, number three, Les Marie! 
So the next person to win this giveaway is number eight. Let's see who that is. Let's see who that is. Did I ever tell you guys that I want eight kids? I ever say that? Lucky number eight. Number eight is. <laughs> Congratulations to our two winners, Liz Marie and Nyeleti. I hope you guys enjoy the giveaway and buy to your heart's content, or will actually buy to the to to the limit of the of the gift card. But. Either way, congratulations on winning guys and please if you did not win, don't feel disheartened. I am going to have more giveaways in the future with even bigger prizes so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I'm going to switch it over back to me again. Back to Benita on channel 7. Anyway, those are some of the disadvantages of having big boobs and this video was just actually to educate you guys and calling for people to be more respectful and to know what it's like to have big boobs and to be kind to people with big boobs and stop harassing us, okay, please. And ladies, love your body. Whether you are itty bitty titty committee, meaning you've got small breasts, medium breasts, big breasts, I don't actually like the word breasts, hey? Whether you have small boobs, big boobs, medium boobs, uh, yeah, extra large boobs, the one that can break a watermelon boob. The wind up, the pitch. Oh! Yes, yeah, sis. Your body is beautiful. We're not body shaming. Stop comparing yourself to people on Instagram, to celebrities who are getting boob jobs left, right, and center. And nothing is wrong with that. Like, honestly, if you do that and you're living your truth and you're honest about it, there's nothing wrong with it. As long as you're not misleading people into thinking that they're not good enough when you know that you were not good enough. The woman's body comes in so many different forms and shapes. It's ridiculous. Let's not all strive to look like a single person. That's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.